please and so Libra. Welcome. This is your November sneak peek. That is way too many. November sneak peek 2020. All right. The extended, of course, is going to be posted up on Patreon. You could join different tiers. A lot of stuff going on. You get the whole zodiac, not just one sign. All right. So just check it out. See if it's something that you, especially if you want to support the channel. That's a dope way of getting extra content and still being able to support the channel. So, grateful. If you want to book a reading, email me first. Even though um, you can book it on the website, but I just like to get a little rapport first. Sometimes I like to do custom a custom reading. What's this about? Ah, oh, Libra. Peace of mind, I'll tell you. Peace of your energy. Look at this. Sovereignty. It's that Venus, <laughs> Venus in Libra energy. Self-reflection -reflect that was coming out for the ancestral message is a lot. It's a lot. And it was written up in that book of life. <laughs> There's a mansion. Yeah. This was written. Your story has been written. <laughs> it has already been told, honey. It has already been told. That's deep, Libra. It's like it's like it's like a remembering, okay? It's like a remembering that is happening with you. This just came out for fur though. I don't know what's going on. Well, we're shuffling though. Ah, that's what it is. Like your purpose is so much greater than the little role, that the, the little humanoid role that you are playing. <laughs> you know you queen mother. You're supposed to be queen mother out in this bit. And you playing this little this little role, okay? Look at this. Now, I, look, look, look at that dichotomy. Okay, this flipped over too, so I'm going to take that as well. Fragmented energy. You play, you busy playing the safe. When you really are a star, you really deserve a lot of accolades, a lot of um, recognition for your contributed energy. But it could be because there's an aspect of fragmented energy. All right. Could be emotionally, could be mentally. That's what's keeping you held back from you being in your true royalty and in your sovereignty. Nature was at the bottom. Mm. Healing light. First time I pulled this. We may read this in the extended. Definitely. There's some healing light energy that's going to probably help heal that fragmented energy that you're dealing with right now. And, it, and then it's going to be able to propel you into the true role, you know, that you are. Like I said, you this is you. This is you. You see? That's your energy. Look at this. Look at this. Honor your beauty. Venus and Libra energy all day. Thank you, Joe Phil, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty, Okay. Inner and outer. What's this? Live your joy. Mm, studying and learning. This is what I'm talking about. Mm, 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 mm. Healing your self-worth issues. Healing your heart. Okay, guilt. There's some guilt energy here, okay? Because I know Libras, they, 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 you could have been an enabler, right? That's, this is an enabler energy. And you feel like, well, you, know, I, you know, I have to show this, is, I have to show this person love, you know? So, but you, there was a lot of weight that you wore on your head. Look at this, self-worth. This is all sacral energy. Your creativity. 
I feel like your creativity as well possibly was staunched. This is why it's like you showing your beauty, letting your beauty exude out from the inner to the outer, healing that energy of self-worth issues. No longer needing to play it safe. No longer need to dull down or dim down your light so that someone else won't, you know, feel a way about you and your energy and who you are and all the things that you do. And enable them to stay in their stuck energy. It's not happening. Mm -mm. Could be embarking on a new, new area of study. And it could be intimidating. Okay, could, if it's a partner, it could be intimidating to a partner. Like, damn, they're going to get educated and leave me. They may not feel like I'm on their level if they excel or whatever the case may be, you know. Okay. Look at this. Look, isn't this, this, this is beauty. This is definite feminine energy beauty here. Ooh, with the luck. You see what I'm saying? Oh, man. I'm definitely seeing something tapping into the beauty industry. Could be about modeling. Like, you could be getting your body ready or, you know, you just, yeah. Yeah, studying and learning how to be able to tap into this new industry because, you know, you feel the most joyous when you're doing modeling or, or, or beauty or makeup or, you know, skincare, all of that, honey. And people is trying to guilt trip you for you being in your energy. And it feels like there's a, it's like, it's a cross to bear here. Listen, the cycle is coming. This is the moon. It's, it's, this is about cycles, phases. You're outgrowing your old phase. So again, you may outgrow, you know, the, uh, people that you know. But you are worth so much more. Okay. Let's, let's pull some more oracle cards. Let's see. What else they got? But this is beautiful. It's like when you live your joy and you do, you know, guilt free. It brings you more peace of mind. Instead of trying to people please, look at this. Everything is okay. There's nothing to worry about. Like it's going to work out in, in the best way possible. Pregnancy. I feel like, you know, new cycle. If it's not a physical child, it's a new cycle. Admit your true feelings to yourself. How you be honest with you. Only you know what you want. Only you know what brings you happiness. Again, what brings you joy. Okay. Okay. Or let's say you could be having a child out of wedlock and your Christian upbringing could be guilting you like, oh, you shouldn't be having a child out of wedlock. When everything is going to be okay. How do you feel about it? If you feel this is the happiest thing, this could this you you couldn't be more happier to have this child. And you're not married to the partner, but hey, it is what it is. And you're studying on, on this could be your first pregnancy. Okay. So you you were you doing each stage in the first trimester, the second what happens in the second trimester. Wow, that's definitely happening for somebody. Oh, yeah, that yoni has been popped. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Woo! That's it. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm. Put a little tarot. Come on, Libra. Five of Cups. Now, in this depiction, in this depiction, usually it's usually with the Five of Cups, it's Two of Cups that's still in the background that is like, you know, 
that's still on the path. This one, it's like this, this cup is like solid. The, it's like the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is what? Self-love. Okay? The love that you have for yourself. The connection that you have with spirit. Okay? With your spiritual self. And I feel like that's that's what you need to get back to is that self-love that you have for you. Healing that energy, realizing that you're beautiful inside and out. Okay. Don't worry about the sharp words or the impulsive energy of other people or even yourself. Because Libra, even though this represents Gemini, really, the knight of the knight of swords, but To me, if we want to go in order, that's you. Oh yeah, Libras can be very be be very impulsive with at the mouth, and they may even do it in a way where they're like, "Oh, it's 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 out of love. It's it's out of love that that I'm I'm saying all of these things, these mean, hurtful things." <laughs> Look, new world. Like I said, you're closing that, that old cycle of you playing it safe is no longer. Your peace of mind comes first. Okay? Your peace of mind comes first. Plain and simple. Your self-worth, self-reflection, your healing energy, living your joy, guilt-free. That is what it is. New creations. Okay. Oh, the Empress. Look, this Libra, that's you too. It's not just Taurus. It's you too. Children of Venus. Daughters of Venus. Okay. And sons. Okay. But there go the baby. Wow. And then the moon. Yeah. This could be a secret pregnancy. Definitely. Definitely. Or it could be that the father's is like, I'm out. I'm not with that. And you're choosing to keep the pregnancy. Despite of. Despite of. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Or again, this is the this is just that new life. And I feel like the new life of like, again, like just being beautiful in your energy, letting it shine, you know, whatever you're creating, this new world that you're creating for yourself, it, it has a lot of abundance back behind. Oh, no, Libra. No. What's un mm -hmm. But at the bottom of the deck, we have this sign. Okay. I feel like the heartbreak is that you, you, I think you wish that you could be supported by more people in this new world, in this new endeavor. Okay. And maybe the heartbreak is that unexpectedly you, you, the people that you thought would have been behind you are not behind you. Okay. And the people that are in your corner are going to be people that, um, that you don't know that well. Okay, and they're going to be the ones that's going to support you. If, like if this is a new business or your modeling career, you know, makeup, whatever it is, right? Beauty, whatever it is, right? Beauty industry. And you're going to see that you're going to get the support from people that you didn't expect that will support you. Now, we're going to do more clarification. We're going to look into the love aspect on Patreon. Check it out. There's different tiers, like I said. See, just click the link, see the different tiers, see what is good for you. Got coupon codes and all that to the website. I mean, it's a lot. And with that, if not, I'm always see you on the check-in. Peace.